Hi, this is Thomas LaFoe from the Instructional Media Center at the Mississippi State University Libraries, and in this tutorial we will take a look at setting up text styles and building blocks in Microsoft Publisher. Here I have a story pasted into a text box in Publisher. The text carried over the formatting from the previous source, so we want to change that to match our new document. To set a style for this text, select the whole story by clicking and dragging, or by clicking in the text box and pressing Ctrl A to select all of the text. Now on the Home tab, I can move to the Styles button, and at the bottom of that list, choose New Style. I'll name this style News Article, and now I can use the buttons on the right to change the characteristics of this style. Here I'm going to select the font. For this, I'm going to choose Times New Roman, and for my font size, I'm going to choose 10. This article is also pasted with a dark gray font, so what I can do is change the font color to black to ensure that, and then click OK. You can also change different aspects of this font with text effects. Here you'll notice shadow, reflection, glow, and 3D format, or you can change the text fill or the text outline. I'm going to leave those alone for now and click Cancel. You can check the character spacing. Here I can change the scale of the text, or I can change the tracking, which is the spacing between the letters, or the kerning, which is the amount that the characters overlap. Again, I'm going to leave these as they are and click OK. And now I'm going to look at the paragraph spacing. Here for my paragraphs, I'm going to choose a first line indent of .167 or 1 6 of an inch. I'm going to make sure my before and after paragraph spacing is set to zero. And my between line spacing, I'm going to change this to 11 points. I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice that there are also options for bullets and numbering, horizontal rules, which will paste a horizontal rule between your paragraphs, and tabs if you're dealing with a tabbed list. You can also check the description at the bottom of this window to make sure that that's set correctly. And then we'll click OK. Now I can make any changes that I need to the text box and that style will already be applied to the text. Now that I have that style set up, if I paste another story into Publisher, I can highlight the text by pressing Ctrl A, go to my Styles button, and scroll down till I find the news article. And that automatically applies that style to the text. Another option that can save you time in Publisher is to save text boxes as building blocks. Here I'm going to go ahead and maneuver this text box into the position that I want. And I'm going to change the style of it by going to the Text Box Tools Format tab, change my margins to none, and change my columns to two columns with .167 spacing or a sixth of an inch. Click OK. And now I can save this as a two column story. To access your building blocks, go to Insert, Page Parts, and choose Add Selection to Parts Gallery. Here I can call this Two Column Story, and under the category, I can save this as a story. Click OK. And now if I move to Page Parts, I can see that at the top, I have the Two Column Story saved. If I click this, it will insert another story copying the same story that we used to save it. But now I can just replace this text by choosing Control A and deleting, and then I can type my new story in this new building block. If you have any questions or would like more handouts or tutorials, please visit our website at library.msstate.edu slash IMC. Thanks for watching.